What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ducks and Download, and what an amazing day it is. Tomorrow we get Bad Batch, but today we get the Acolyte. And we are going to do a quick reaction uh, to the... It'll be muted in this corner. Uh, you can watch along with us. Uh, that is just for copyright stuff. Probably do a few clips here and there just to make sure we don't get Disneyed. Uh, but we are going to be very excitedly reacting to this, and I am super excited. So if you are ready to start, we will start in three, two, one. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. The robes don't look full High Republic. Yeah. Life. Lots of aliens. Balance. Yeah. Well, it should be. I see fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's dope. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. Is that? What happened? I sensed the darkness. A lot of force powers in this. Grenestra. The one guy we saw earlier, it looks like, what's his name, with the, uh, the Charhound? Oh, Bell Zedifar? Yeah, it looks like Bell. This is about he had the same power. haircut. And who is allowed to use it? What is that? See? Is that, oh. is that him? Damn. Uh, it was everything that I wanted it to be and more. <laughs> I had heard some stuff from the people who had gone to celebrations about choreography being really good, having like that martial arts vibe to it. And it really kind of does have that like martial artists movie vibe to it, like a, one of those old Chinese martial arts films. They're using a lot of force powers in this, like holding the dagger back with the the force and stuff. And yeah. that, but we have a red lightsaber, which means that's got to be someone who knows enough Sith to like magic to bleed a crystal. Or, yeah, or found one. They said it, we are we knew it was going to be with Sith, so that was that's. I'm glad we got at least for sure. It is going to have Sith in it. But thankfully, they also didn't show anything. So, I mean, it could be absolutely anything. It could be one of the great, like, line of Sith back from, yep. you know, Plagueis, Tenebrae, or it could be some other dark side cult type thing. But it, it looks good. The Like you said, aliens everywhere, exactly how it should be, because humans aren't the dominant race in Star Wars. The, uh, the production looks really well done. Yes. Um, does not look... Some some of the stuff we've gotten lately has been like a lot in the well we we think we like we look at like Obi Wan and some of the other productions mm -hmm. um, look very limited budget where yeah. they like focused on some of the great shots but everything else felt empty because they're using um, just the limited shots mm -hmm. and they don't have a lot of alien races so this this felt like they put a lot in it. Yeah, kind of like what we got with Andor and, and some of the others. So, of course, guys, make sure to join us this Friday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time because we are going to be watching this a few more times separately and stuff and just really diving into it. And we will have a full, huge breakdown for this Acolyte trailer in the upcoming House of Holocrons podcast, along with, of course, talking about the Bad Batch episode that will be coming out tomorrow morning. Uh, this, this show's already got me hyped. I'm... I am 100% in. Yeah, they don't look exactly like they did in the High Republic. That's good. This is like that nice intermediate stage between High Republic and Phantom Menace. Um, it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and there's going to be a lot of lightsaber fights. So thank you all so much. The Acolyte is here. June 4th, a day earlier than it was originally projected. So I, I'm, I'm ecstatic. This is going to be so good. Have an amazing rest of your day, everybody. And as always, may the Force serve you well. May the force be with you.